How's it going today, Jerry Bears? I'm Jerry Sky. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, it's red. It's easy to see. Done. Today we're gonna talk about Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Because you know, I'm on the Bitcoin train. Been on the Bitcoin train for months now. Not just when it started getting real popular. Before that, even I was in there. I was in there at 2200. Hell, I was doing faucet. I years ago, I actually looked at one of my old wallets and I found that I was into. I couldn't figure out how to buy the Bitcoin, and even if I could, I didn't have money to. But I was doing those like free faucets, and I have money in there, and it was like a dollar at the time. I was like, this is not worth it. And now that dollar is now like twelve dollars just sat there for a couple years since 2014 and then it also last night they had the thing happen where which I didn't even know this was a thing was like if you had bought Bitcoin or had Bitcoin before August 1st or like yeah something like that you got Bitcoin cash and so I just got a bunch of free cash last night <laughs> although there's some stuff about it they're being insider trading last night with Bitcoin Cash. I have not done any research on all that stuff last night. I haven't done any research on that at all yet. I just, that all just happened. I just woke up. <laughs> and so just sharing, I don't know. <laughs> but what I wanted to talk about is that yesterday, like Bitcoin had a very massive drop. One of the biggest drops it's had in a while. And how I feel like this is the thing. Because some of us possibly have bought in maybe at a bit higher than others and stuff is dropping, you're getting a little panicky. You're getting a little afraid of Bitcoin crashing. You're getting a little afraid of that drop. Losing the money, losing your profits that you made. There are a few things that you can do here. It's not exactly advice I'm telling you what to do with your money. These are options that you have. Things you should know. Things to know about. <laughs> so, don't blame me if you fuck your shit up. Like, you do your own research, I've said that many times before, do your own research, read a lot of articles, both sides, not just one side, although there is a lot of crazy stuff from the news that's very intense. And if you watch some of the stuff from Bitcoin people who have been in Bitcoin for years, they're a lot calmer, and I would say understand that too, because the news is very inflammatory of like, oh, it's gonna drop, people are gonna lose their money, just like very intense, you know? It's the news, man. It's the news. So, that being said, some of the things you can do if you have made some money and you want to limit the risk that you have in, say you want to take some of that money off the table, sell the profit, the amount that equals the profit of what you have, and take that out. And that will minimize the money that you originally put in there for your risk factor. And then you're playing more with, you know, free money as opposed to your money. Then, Say, you're freaking out, you're freaking out, it's dropping, it's dropping, it's dropping. Okay, if I sell it now, I'm gonna lose my, a lot of money. Don't sell it. Don't sell it. Don't fucking sell it. Just hold out. When I told you guys, if you did use my Coinbase link, I'll put that again down below. If you buy a hundred bucks, you and I both get free ten dollars worth of Bitcoin. It's a great time to do it because it's gonna fucking soar. But, if you did buy some, and you're like, oh no, now I'm low, Jared. Yeah, I'm low, I'm losing money. Just calm, I told you when you did it, we're in it for the long game, we're not in for the short game. If we're in the short game, that's why right when you see it go up, higher than what you have it, sell it then. If, you're, if you really just wanna immediately get some money back and you don't wanna, you don't wanna play no game, you don't wanna play none of the game, then sell it right away as soon as you make some profit. That was the next thing I was going to say. As soon as you make some profit, you could just sell it then and take it off, take it all off the table. So those are the three things you can kind of do. But if it is going down, you're not going to make any money. Do not sell it when you're going to lose money. A lot of people do this. It's very common. Like in the stock market, everything. People freak out when stuff goes down. According to rich people, <laughs> you buy when it is low. It is very hard to, for some of us who, are, who don't do this all the time, to know what is the low and what is the high. However, if you're feeling panicked, it is better to do nothing than to act crazy on it because you want to have very sound mind and not be working off your emotions because this is business. This is money. Making money. There should, no be, there should be no emotions attached to your money right now. And so just keep yourself calm. 
it's going to go down. It actually is probably going to go down more. It hit about 13 yesterday, and I was like, oh god, <laughs> looking at my portfolio. But we, we bounced back up. We're at, where are we at right now? We're at 16.65. That's what we're currently at. But it still might go down to, according to some of the stuff that I've read and everything, it still might hit. It could drop as much as 50%. 50% of 16 would be about 8. If it does drop to 8, that is a wonderful time to buy. If it drops to 8, I am going to buy. But I don't know if we will get that low. Maybe we will and maybe we won't. But if we do, it might be one of the last times you see that low of a number for a while because it's just, it's growing, it's growing, it's climbing up. <clears throat> so I just wanted to share a little bit of that because I, like yesterday watching it, you feel the panic inside. You're like, oh no, oh no, I should have taken some of the profits off the table, whatever. Honestly, I can afford to lose everything that I've put in. If I lose it, will it suck? Fucking yes, it will suck. But if it, if I hold out and then it just grows, and it grows to what I think it's gonna be. I'm gonna be a crypto millionaire. So that's the thing, is if you hold out, keep calm, ultimately, you, let, you wait long enough, you will make money. But you gotta be patient, gotta be calm. Keep your emotions out of the money area. That's why you picked money that you could afford to lose. Do not freak out. I think that might be all I have to say. I don't have anything about the Bitcoin Cash. There is, there are other, other cryptos on there too that are worth looking into. Obviously the ones on Coinbase are going to probably do much better because look how many people are on the Coinbase platform. Hundreds of thousands were being added every day at a certain point. I don't know if that number is still accurate for like every day. So there's hundreds of thousands of people invested in those currencies because they're easy to trade and manage and all that. So there, it's like it's like if um, you were to bet on a company, you're like, well, I'll bet on one of the big companies that I know. Like I'll bet on Starbucks or I'll bet on Target. Like because they're big, they're they're more known. It doesn't mean they're better. It just means they're more known. And in some instances, maybe they are better. But however, if you do your research on the other cryptos, because if you look, I have this app, it's called Crypto Tracker. It's free, it's in the app store, Crypto Tracker. So there are literally thousands, at least a thousand different cryptos. Not all of them are worth money for real. Some of them, especially, like be careful if they're too cheap, people are buying stuff just because it's cheap because they think they'll do what Bitcoin does. But if the technology behind what the the crypto is, the coin, behind what the coin is, is worthless, like you could definitely just lose all that money. So be very careful what you do. But uh, you can see what are the more, the top range, top rated stuff, the little bit more trusted stuff within reason. And that's not entirely true too, because I've seen multiple things saying uh, IOTA is not good, but then some stuff says it is good, so I don't know. Just do your own research on what you think might be the technology that you want to invest in. A lot of things are built on top of Ethereum, so Ethereum might be the next thing. But then again, we don't know. It's all a gamble. It's all fun. Do your research. Try to make educated guesses. And, you know, be careful with your money, but have fun with your money. Just want to put all this out there because I feel like a lot of the stuff comes from men. All the crypto videos I watch, they're all men. And honestly, I would love some lady crypto millionaires out there. So, ladies, I'm looking at you. <sighs> exciting. Oh, it's so exciting. It's so exciting, you guys. I don't, I can't even explain it. It's just, <laughs> it's so fucking exciting. <laughs> ah! And because things are happening so fast, you're just like, ah! But yes, if you still don't know about Bitcoin, please, dear God, Google it. Or do, there's a video on YouTube. It's like, what is Bitcoin? And it's like one minute long. Just Watch that damn video, okay? Just like know something so you're not acting like, oh, 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 like a grandma, okay? Don't act like a grandma. 
world is changing very fast. Pay attention to the things that are changing and maybe, just maybe, you'll invest in something and you can be fortunate enough in the future or it will help you think of an idea for your future that you can create a business out of and you don't have to work for somebody else. So it's like very important to be in tuned with what is happening and not just be sucked up in the drama news of what is happening with all the Trump things and everything. Not that that stuff is not important, but they are a distraction from how the world is going to keep functioning. Just saying. Just saying. All right, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to put some comments in the comment section below. Who out there is messing around with Bitcoin too? I'm curious to see if anybody is. And subscribe before you leave. I'm Jarrah Sky. Sky's the limit. Woo!